Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing in the opening action of the Death Race, where 156 drivers will fight to survive. As usual, they'll be grouped into fours. Run four laps, collecting four points for first, three for second, two for third, one for fourth, zero for a DNF. Only two drivers advance each round. In group one, hailing from Vapor Racing in Purple Haze, an urban agent weighing 49.9 grams, it's Lady G. Driving one of the tastier vehicles, just a glaze is in a donut drifter weighing 41.4 grams called Rocket Donut, representing PWC Racing. From Rust Belt Diecast Racing, Bo is piloting Skull Crusher, a Fandango weighing 50 grams. And finally, in a car that's been waiting to hit the track for more than a year, Jason Blue is from Lionhawk Racing in Blue Jay, a rally cat weighing 48.5 grams. Lady G and Just a Glaze start up front, Bo and Jason in the back. Lady G gets in front, but she's sideways. Ooh, and she gets tossed off the track as Bo rolls in the back. It's a two car race as Just a Glaze pulls away. It's not a terribly fast lap, but Glaze wins one for PWC Racing. Jason Blue takes second. Fortunately, even in the dystopian future, the subtrack safety service is still effective. It was actually a fairly even start, but Lady G can't quite clear Glaze's short vehicle and gets turned. Glaze gets partially underneath and steamrolls Lady G off the inside of the track. Donuts and Cats on top after one. They swap lanes, putting Bo and his tusks on the pole, Lady G on the outside. Glaze a little off pace this time. Bo takes the lead and Lady G slides again. Bo gets up on the wall and he's wrecked in turn four. Lady G and Just a Glaze zip past in the triangle. And Jason Blue rolls in for third. The inside lane with the advantage again and Lady G spins for a second time. She recovers and catches a huge break when Bo wrecks himself entering the triangle. Just a glaze, adding some frosting to that lead, and it's looking like Bo doesn't in fact know Bo. Jason and Bo up front for lap three, glaze and G in the back. Bo clearly the fastest on the track, he takes the lead again. Glaze in trouble in the back, and Bo has disappeared! Jason just claims the win ahead of Lady G. Just a glaze, just a limps to the finish in third. And the cameraman appears to be searching. Holy cow, he's found Bo, and that'll be a third DNF for that super fast driver. Bo clearly the class of this field, but on the triangle, you gotta be able to handle the turns as well. My guess is he drove himself off the track somewhere in the vicinity of turn four. Jason Blue gets lucky this time and just holds off Lady G for the win. Jason ties it up with Glaze, but Lady G is tapping on that door only two points behind. Lap four with points leaders Glaze and Jason up front. Jason wins the drag race. Glaze and Bo get right on his bumper. Jason and Glaze spin, and the group clumps up. They all wreck in the final turn, and this one's a quadruple DNF, so we'll reset and rerun lap four. Jason again gets out front. Bo rolls and Glaze spins. Jason well ahead and Glaze just doing everything he can to block Lady G. Lap four is Jason, Glaze, and Lady G. This has not been Bo's day for sure, wrecking for the fourth time today. Glaze nearly gets taken out by Lady G and spends the rest of the lap trying to keep her from passing. Jason Blue wins group one with a strong second half and Just a Glaze takes a close second. On to group two with a slightly different theme. The first driver is more than meets the eye, driving Mullet Guns, a Lamborghini Countach sporting a pair of cannons on the wing and weighing 50.5 grams for raw Sun God racing, it's Breakdown. 
sporting some very nice rear armor, Sammy Moondust is driving Pepto Death Maul, a Cadillac V16 weighing 48.4 grams for House Steiner Customs. From Digital Diecast Racing, D1G1 or, or Digi is piloting a BMW M3 called Autobomb weighing 40 grams. Finally, in one of the most iconic vehicles from the original Death Race movie, Frankenstein is driving a Corvette Stingray named Death Race 2000, weighing 50.2 grams for Golden Owl Racing. Breakdown and Sammy start up front Digi and Frankenstein in the back. Group 2 is off and Breakdown smokes Sammy off the line. Frankenstein is already off the track and Breakdown really seems to be taking his time. Breakdown takes first, Digi is second, and it looks like Sammy has stalled in turn three, making this a double DNF. Seems like Sammy was more concerned with blocking Frankenstein than with getting out front, and that strategy didn't really pay off here unless he's trying to sabotage the driver from Golden Owl. Breakdown and Digi on top after one. Digi moves up front alongside Breakdown for lap two. Something's definitely wrong with Sammy as he quickly falls behind. Digi pulls away as Frankenstein and Breakdown struggle. Digi slows and Frankenstein overtakes on the overpass. Frankenstein runs away with lap two. Digi is second, Breakdown third. Sammy fails to make it through turn one and he must have some sort of wheel rub or something. Halfway down the opening straight, Sammy's already out of the picture. Breakdown is slow and Frank spins, allowing Digi to pull away, but then he struggles to get up to speed, allowing Frankenstein time to recover and make the pass to claim the lap. Digi ties it up with Breakdown and Frankenstein is very much back in this race. Frank moves up front for lap three, Digi on the outside. Whoa, finally on the front row, Frankenstein takes off like a rocket. Sammy is stalled in the back again, and Digi and Breakdown are simply no competition for Frank. Frankenstein wins easily, and Digi holds off Breakdown for second. Digi takes a one-point lead over Breakdown and Frankenstein. The final lap sees Sammy move back up front, which is probably bad news for Breakdown behind him. Sure enough, Frankenstein and Digi take off. Breakdown is stuck behind Sammy. Looks like this is Frank's lap to lose, and everyone gets so spread out the cameraman is struggling to keep up. Digi takes second, breakdown third, and Sammy's on his roof. With no one in front of him, Frankenstein shows everyone he's a contender. Frankenstein wins three consecutive laps to tie Digi for the group win. Good news for Breakdown and Lady G, in the first round, two wild cards will move on, and they set the initial bar. Congratulations to Jason Blue, Justa Glaze, Frankenstein, and Digi. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and groups three and four of the death race.